Hello and welcome. It is Deck Tech time. I'm Randy Bueller, joined by Andrea Mangucci. Welcome. Thank you. Had to start with the band company deck. Yeah. This deck is the boogeyman. This is the most expected deck in the field. We haven't crunched all the stats yet, but it looks like it probably is the most played deck in the field. Yeah, I, I expect, we expected that during testing. Yeah, talk to me about your testing process. I know you were with MTG Mint Card this time yeah. around. What led you to want to play band company? So Bent Company was uh, the most obvious choice. Like, if you see the last results, it was everywhere. Uh, so we start testing, obviously, uh, something against Bent Company, but everything was failing. Like, uh, humans had a hard time against, let's say, Tragic Arrogance, but even like the, uh, the 2 3 4 2 uh, Sylvan Advocate, the sure. Reflector Mage, they're all annoying cards. Um, the blue red control also has like sometimes our time because like you can just two for one with company and you just can't get behind. Black white control is just an awful matchup. Um, I mean okay. against the fans company. And so it's just like uh, there's this deck that's like the boogeyman as you said. Okay. And uh, as, as we talked before, uh, uh, talked before, there's like not really much to do against it. All right, so you couldn't find a way to beat it. So you figured just play it. I joined them, yeah. All right, well, let's look and see what, what makes this boogeyman tick. Collected Company is just the key card in yes. this deck, right? You have to build a deck around that card. Not only that, it's also important not to sideboard out the creatures. Aha. That's a very important thing. When you, you, know, when you go to board out, you're like, hey, the Reflector Mage is bad. He's not playing creature. Let's take out four Reflector Mage. Uh, Jace is bad. He's playing too many burn spells. Let's take him out. But you can't. You have to take a li at least 22, 23 no creature okay. after sideboard. So that's an important thing. That's what makes this deck good. If you hit two creatures with company. Makes sense to me. Let's start looking at what some of those creatures are. The two drops just seem spectacular. Jace, yeah. Duskwatch Recruiter, Sylvan Advocate, all three of these just feel yeah. like superstar creatures. Yeah, Is that yeah. fair? Yeah, they're all incredible creatures. You always uh, want to have the chance to play them on, on turn two. But why do I say this? Because. Yeah. The hardest part is getting them into play. Uh, the new mana base is quite hard. I, I, I will admit that. Okay. And so the weakness, what's the weakness of this incredible deck is uh, the mana base. So Got like, it. you have to go like forest playing spray stream. That's the perfect thing. And then okay. you're just gonna play two drop, three drop, and company. That, that's ideal. So if you get to play two drop, you are, th these are the three best two drops. But now, uh, how do you know which one to play though? That's a very interesting question, and uh, it depends on your hand. Let's say you have uh, Bounding Crazies in your hand, then you want to play the Squatch Recruiter, because you're going to go turn to the Squatch Recruiter, then say go, it's going to flip. You can also play ah, a top land. Sometimes, sure. uh, sometimes that's very crucial to play top land, because like, you have only one basic and multiple uh, of the, new, of the Battle for Zenica lands, so yeah. you have to play a top land on uh, basic, and then say go, and then you can play on top land and Crazies for only two mana. <laughs> and that's very nice. important. If you have Dromogas Command instead, you want to play Sylvan Advocate because it's the best thing. It fights everything on turn two. Got if you don't it. have two, anything three. of those, then you have to play Jace because you want to fight things. Fight so he's things. the weakest. He's not the weakest. He's the one, maybe he's the weakest on turn two, but he's clearly the most powerful later in the game. Like yeah. when you when you play turn four collected company or like turn six collected company, and Jace is among the top six cards, you want to take them because it's gonna mean another collected company Got turn it. after. Makes sense. So Jay's still plenty good. Probably yeah. not as good in this standard as he was yes. when we had Definitely. fetch lands. Yeah, we have madness, but there are not really way to exploit it in this deck. So there are no fetch lands. Basically. And still a four of. I know I've seen some lists starting to yeah. shape Jay's. Yeah, but I think just it's so good. Mostly in the mirror match. I think that in the mirror match, okay. the key is uh, getting to flip Jay's and starting flashback companies, and uh, you know getting card Got advantage it. and advantage and advantage. All right. Enough for the two drops. Let's look at the three drops for this deck. Reflector yeah. Mage, Krasis, and then a couple of Nisses. I saw some hate for this guy, but I think that it's still great. Uh, this is a tempo deck. You wanna, like, I just won my last match tapping down the Avacyn and attacking for lethal. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Like, very close race. And this guard is, like, unlimited. It's very important, you know, tap a creature. Uh, you just remove a blocker and add uh, uh, an attacker. So it's just uh, um, change all the plans. And then it's a great, like, hit with company. Usually, like these two cards are the best hit with company because they are just great body on the play. And Except Nissa, Nissa helps a lot the deck because you need to hit your land drop. You need to come to six mana to uh, make your Sylvan Advocate great. You need Got to it. have a, like a smooth mana base. Maybe you need the second uh, basic land, and also just great plus Walker in the late game. And as I said, in the mirror match, you win with card advantage, and Nissa are, is one of the the best way to do it. Okay. Let's look at the last couple of additions to the deck. These are these are some new toys that you get to play with out of uh, Shadows yeah. Over Innistrad. Yeah, one of the few new toys. Tyler
wireless tracker seems just amazing. Three mana creature, you can come off a collected company. Yeah. It's good. It, it becomes big and fuels yeah. the late but game. It's not exactly a three draw because you never want a top three cast tracker because okay. it's going to kill it and you're going to one for one. So you always want to go like turn turn five, let's say, tracker into land and then crack a clue end of turn. Sure. You know, that's, a, that's the best way to optimize it. Right, but Collected Company thinks it's a, of three, course, it's of a course. three drop. Yeah, so. yeah, definitely. Now, and then there's not others. a three drop. This is the one creature you can't get with yeah. Collected Company. It's yeah. just that good. If you remember, last format, we had the Wing Metroc. And uh, it's not hitable with Collected Company. Of course, when you see it among the six cards after you cast Collected Company, you're very sad because you yeah. can't put it into play. But it's very, very important card in this format. There's also this deck plays Flash, and that's the best, the best thing. Sure. You live like you flip uh, as Dustwatch Recruiter. You pass with Dustwatch Recruiter, you flip it, and then you have four mana, and you have Company or Avacyn or Ojita's Command. What's your opponent gonna play around? There's like Hard so to play much. Around all of that. Yeah, so like it's uh, one of those cards that uh, makes it that good. Sometimes uh, if it flips, it kills like your board. Sometimes. Yeah. Uh, so you just uh, have to be careful about that. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. All right. You said the weakness was the land. Let's look at the land. Yeah. How do you actually stitch things together? Basic lands turns out to be the answer. And evolving wilds. Uh, so um, I'd li I I dislike the at all uh, the new. The new, yeah, uh, the shadow lands are the new shadow lands because that requires you to have an untap land. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, a basic, uh, basic or, hand, or yeah. a battle for Zendikar land. But right. that means that you have a less basic to make your sh uh, battle for Zendikar land better. Yep. And um, so I'm cutting those two because the, the, the deck list used to play one poor town and one fortified village. Yep. Cutting those two, so of course, your mana base is kind of worse, but you get to be smooth once you have the actual ba basics. I see some deck playing only three of these, and I think it's a big misplay. Not okay. only because, mistake. Not only because it's like the, the main color, but also because of Nisa. You want to get uh, the land of Nisa every time. Got it. Let's look at the rest. And we'll see what you were talking about with the non-basics. Yeah. Prairie Stream is the key. Canopy Vista. You yeah. went Battle Lands, not Shadow Lands. And then you have the blue, the blue green lands. Uh, we came to this conclusion three and two because again, I, I want to be all on top. I want to always, always be on top, and I want to, uh, I want to minimize the number of top lands. But of course, Lord Magnifold is great when you have a Sylvan Advocate in play. Sure. But you're not gonna activate that top, that thing a lot. So I think three is the correct number. Okay. Now. You knew it was the best deck coming in. You knew it was yeah. the most expected deck coming yeah. in. You felt like when the mana works out, it's still good enough, you're gonna play it. But talk to me about the mirror. What do you do when they're also playing a band company deck? So mirror match is one of the most challenging game uh, of this standard, I think. Okay. Because it's like so grindy. Um, it's like um, you can take advantage a lot at the, real, uh, at the beginning of the game if like they have a, a top land, uh, a top land curve, and you okay. have an top land curve, so you can just steal the game that way with bounding crazies, you know. Or the game is just dragged for so long, you're both gonna have so many permanents, and there's not gonna, not gonna be a way to pass the combat because. Uh, there are so many creatures that has uh, uh, toughness higher than the power. So if you attack, they're gonna double block and you're gonna be an unfavorable trade. Okay. Of course you can play Avacyn. That's sure. that's one of the that's one of the ways to like win the thing. But I feel that attacking is very risky. So you're like, gonna be in a stall board and uh, it's gonna win whoever gets the more advantage. Okay. And uh, or uh, Jesu Emblem. Okay. Jesu Emblem is usually one of the. Fair enough. So, Please. Bant Company, the most expected deck coming in. Maybe it's still the best deck. Andrea thinks so. Thank you for showing us why it's so powerful. Yeah. I got to say, though, there's a lot of other people out there that think they can beat this deck. It's a lot of sweet brews at this Pro <laughs> Tour. So, I know you and I are both very interested to find out. Is yeah. it still the deck to beat tomorrow when we get to the end of the Pro Tour? Stay tuned. We'll find out.